Back on Patriot League All Access, joining us now, the head men's soccer coach at Lafayette College is Dennis Bond. Coach, appreciate you taking a few minutes today. Thank you very much. No problem. Glad to be here. Uh, entering your 11th season at uh, Lafayette College, so you have obviously uh, seen quite a bit of uh, Patriot League soccer over the previous 10 seasons. And first question for you is uh, just your thoughts on how the Patriot League has has evolved during your tenure at Lafayette. Obviously, the league just celebrated its 20th anniversary season. You've been around for about half of that. So, uh, just your your overall thoughts on how the Patriot League has evolved in your time at Lafayette. Well, I mean, you know, every program or excuse me, every department is putting you know more and more uh, funding into their soccer, men's soccer programs, and so you know I think the level of play, the facilities, the, just the overall uh, professionalism of the of the league and men's soccer has improved dramatically over over my tenure. Uh, finishing uh, eight seven and three overall last season, uh, over five hundred for the uh, tenth straight year uh, in every season that you've been at Lafayette. Finishing three three and one in the Patriot League. Um, over 500 for all 10 seasons in Easton. Is there anything that you can kind of put your finger on for that uh, that remarkable run of consistency and a lot of the uh, appearances in the Patriot League tournament during that tenure as well? Is there anything that you can kind of think back to that that uh, your team has just been able to do or, or maybe an approach that you have within the program that is responsible for that just remarkable stretch of consistency? Uh, I think we just have fundamentals that we stick to no matter what. You know, the talent may change, the, you know, our players may change, but you know, we do have fundamentals of of just you know, character and doing the right things and being unselfish and being willing to sacrifice and things that you know, I would never change as long as I'm head coach here and I think, you know, our players embrace that philosophy, thankfully, and uh and I think that allows us to be competitive every season, both in and out of the conference. Uh, you've been at Lafayette, as I said. You're entering your 11th season. What makes Lafayette such a, a special place to coach and to, to work with the student athletes there? That you've stayed there as long as you have. Well, it's just a, com- a community that uh, you know. I think I would put up against any school in the country. You know, just the people here, from the professors and the faculty to you know, the administration to the coaches. Just everyone's you know, big one big community and, and one big family. And it just makes me feel very comfortable here. And I think it makes our players enjoy their overall experience both on and off the field. Uh, as I mentioned, your club finished 3-3-1 uh, in the Patriot League last season but missed the Patriot League tournament for the first time uh, since 2001. Is, do you use that as, as a, a motivation for your returning players uh, or is it, do you take a different approach? Is it something where you say last year is behind us, we're not going to think about last year, we're going to push forward and we're going to look strictly ahead to 2011? What's your approach? Do you, do you use that as all as motivation or no? Uh, I think we did at the end of the season going into the winter and the spring, uh, I guess in regards to motivation and the fact that we didn't you know contend for the for the championship, but uh, I think you know starting next week when we get into preseason, you know we'll be focused on on, on twenty eleven and uh, you know our first game against Ryder on on august thirty first. Uh, you mentioned Ryder, and that brings me right over to the schedule. Uh, you will be opening on the 31st at home uh, against uh, the Bronx from the uh, Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. But uh, you have a, a pretty good non-league schedule uh, lined up, and you do have a national te- uh, television game on ESPNU coming up in October when you go on the road to take on Princeton. Uh, what's it going to be like for your program? How, is it, how important is it for you to get Lafayette soccer on a, a national TV outlet like you will in October when you go to Princeton? Yeah, it'll be great exposure, you know, for the, for the program. Hopefully, for the league, uh, you know, it uh, gives our boys a chance to play against the team that made the NCAA tournament last year in Princeton, and so it'll, you know, it'll give us a good, a good gauge of where we are, and hopefully for the families and alumni and recruits that are out there, uh, you know, who are able to watch the game, we'll, we'll put on a good performance. Uh, but I, you know, I'm excited about our, our schedule. You know, we do have some Ivies, which is nice with Cornell and Princeton, but we, you know, we also have Villanova, James Madison, and some other. Cool, you know, very strong program. So we're, uh, you know, we're excited about the upcoming non-conference season as well as, as the most important, you know, Patriot League matches. What's what's your philosophy when you put the schedule together? Do you have uh, anything kind of specific in mind? Do you have, uh, you know, from a year-to-year basis, do you have certain things or certain teams that you want to play against based on, you know, the the roster that you're going to have as you see it, or is it more of just an overall philosophy that you have that you employ? Uh, each and every year when it comes to looking for those uh, crucial non-Patriot League games? 
Yeah, we try to find you know at least uh, you know at least three or four games that we feel like we're playing against maybe a conference that uh, opponent that is maybe at, a, at an RPI rating above us to try and continue to uh, compare ourselves against that level of play and help our RPI. But you know, I also have a lot of relationships with people within you know the area here geographically who you know even if we were national champions, I would still play them because you know I'm just friendly with them and that's just the way I do do my business. So you know, I think uh, we try and do a little bit of both and, and also keeping the budget in mind and keeping the travel schedule in mind when it comes to the academic side of, of Lafayette and the Patriot League where we can't. You know, we don't want to be missing too much class time. Uh, Dennis Bond is the head men's soccer coach at Lafayette College, entering season number 11 in Easton. Coach, appreciate the opportunity to chat with you today, and good luck, and we'll talk to you down the road later this season. Thanks so much, James. Appreciate your time.